everyone so today I am here with my first Halloween makeup look and it's pretty simple nothing outrageous or crazy or scary but this first makeup look is a look that I came up with for this nurse look and if you would like to see how I created this look please stay tuned so first I hydrated my skin the second thing I used is my primer and it's from wet n wild coverall and this is a super cheap primer it is $4.99 it works amazing I absolutely love it my primer I put on my foundation and today I used Rimmel lasting finish 25 hour with comfort serum it's in the color 203 true beige and that's what it looks like I love this foundation it lasts a really long time just like it says and I love the color true beige I find that it matches my skin tone I then set it all with this and it is by wet n wild it's coverall and it is in the color medium 825 B and again another very super super affordable product that I absolutely love it's $2.99 I love this stuff I swear by it I've talked about it in other videos then it was time to contour and today I did use my Kat Von D shade and light contour palette and it my palette is a hot mess like it is I'm hitting pan on almost everyone but I use these two shades, obviously, because they're the only two left. But I like to start um, contouring with this. And then if I want a deeper contour, I add a little bit of this color, which is Sombre on the brush. It does an amazing job. And then above and below the contour, I like to use a mixture of these two light colors to highlight. And then also I contour down the sides of my nose. And then I like to highlight on my forehead down the bridge of my nose and a little bit right here and a little bit right here so that is what I did to contour my face time for me to do my eyebrows and as many of you know and if you've seen my vlogs you know that I have very light thin eyebrows so I definitely basically let's just say I pencil on my eyebrows <laughs> um, it's a little bit beyond filling in but my favorite brow pencil is from Rimmel and it is just the professional eyebrow pencil in the color hazel and that's what it looks like this is my go-to eyebrow pencil every single day I absolutely love it then I wanted to highlight under my brow bone so and just to make things a little cleaner and crisper underneath my eyebrow I went in with this wet n wild color icon pencil and it is in the color what is it it's just a nude color let me see if it's on here Oh, it's called Calling Your Buff. It's 607A, and that's what it looks like, and it's just a nude color pencil. Again, super cheap, love it, but I just went under the brow and just cleaned it up and got a start on the highlight under my brow bone. Okay, and then my favorite brow bone highlight is another Wet n Wild product, and it's Brulee 251B, and that is what I use to highlight my brow bone. It's just an awesome, amazing, a little bit lighter than flesh color um, eyeshadow. Absolutely love it. I always keep like a bunch of these. That's my go-to. So moving on to eyeshadow. So before I put any eyeshadow on, I use my Urban Decay Primer Potion, which is my go-to primer for my eyelids. My inner corners, I absolutely love this color. It is from the Buxom May Contain Nudity Palette, which I'm sure you guys have seen plenty of times on this channel. And it's the Satin Seduction, which is this first light, a little bit shimmery shade. I absolutely love that for my inner corner to just make the inner corner pop and to make me look, you know, a little brighter. Okay, so then all over my lid, I used the Urban Decay Smoked Palette. And in that palette, I used Asphalt. And it's this really dark, smoky gray. So I was pretty much going for a smoky eye. So I put that all over my lid and then up into my crease even, if you can see that. And then in my outer V, I used this really dark black color called Blackout to blend it all out. Again, with the Buxom May Contain Nudity Palette, I used this light to medium brown color called Gimme Gorgeous. Or no, is it style? I believe it's Gimme Gorgeous. I have these mixed up. It's either Gimme Gorgeous or Style Icon, but it's the matte, taupey, brownie color. And that's what I use to blend everything out. 
And then on my lower lash line, I used this gold color, which is called Gold Status. Again, from the same palette. And that is all I did with my eyeshadow. And then to line my upper lash line and to wing out, is Rimmel Scandalize Waterproof Precision, Precision Micro Eyeliner in Black. And that's what that looks like. I just got this recently and I really, really love it. Okay, and then after that, I just applied my false lashes, which you can see these. They're really long, really big, and they have like glitter on the ends. And I just thought they were cute for a Halloween look. Lash glue that I used is Duo Eyelash Adhesive Waterproof. That's my favorite. Okay, and then after I did my contour and everything and my eyebrows, I like to do it kind of dark. Also, I contoured along my jawline. And then after I did that, I set everything with this NYC Smooth, Smooth Skin Pressed Face Powder. And it's in the color Translucent 701A. And that's what that looks like. And I, again, I absolutely love this product. It's very cheap, very affordable. It has no color. It's translucent. I mean, it comes off looking white, but when you put it on your face, it just kind of blends everything together and makes it just look seamless. And I absolutely love that. Okay. After I got the lashes on, I did go ahead and just blend in my top lashes with the false lashes. And I used my trusty voluminous mascara in Carbon Black Waterproof, which is my favorite voluminous. And then also I used it on my lower lash line. I put two coats. Okay, and then moving on to lips. So I lined my lips and I did overline a little bit and I used this really old and I believe it's a Max Factor lip pencil in the color Nude. I don't even know if they still sell these. I think I got this at like the Dollar Tree like two years ago. I don't know, but it is a really awesome nude color and I absolutely love it. I'm I'm hoping that I can find another one of these somewhere or like buy up a whole bunch of these because it is an awesome, amazing nude lip liner. Love it. And then I use my favorite. Again, you guys know all about this. I use my Kat Von D Agatha for my lips to, to achieve a really nude lip. And that's what that looks like. Last thing I use for my lips is this NYX lipstick in the color LSS504 Harmonica. And it's just a frosty pink. And I just put it in the middle of my lip on the top and the middle of my lip on the bottom just to add some fullness. And it's just kind of a frosty, light bubblegum pink. Last but not least, I line my waterline with my Urban Decay Glide On Eye Pencil in Perversion, and it's almost gone, and I need a new one. <laughs> I hope that you like this look that I achieve, and if you have any questions about this look, or makeup in general, or my outfit, or any Halloween looks, I'm going to be bringing you more Halloween looks before Halloween comes, and please leave comments below. Please subscribe if you haven't. Thumbs up. I love you guys so much, and until next time, I'll talk to you later. Bye! Bye, guys.